a warthog fights on a lizard. And the lizard knows the warthog's um, uh, hole in the ground that it attends to. And then um, the warthog eats the lizard. Hey, yo, what? Um, so the, um, uh, my next st uh, no, story. No, hold up. Why? Why? What, what do you mean? No, it's the warthog eats the lizard. Why? Like, what does it all represent? Is there some meaning here? I just don't feel impacted by that personally. Um, well, the way that these uh, stories work is that essentially, uh, you, it's up to you to find the uh, circumstance in which it makes sense to you. Oh, thanks. No, I had no idea. It's not like I fucking started this shit or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? What's that? Who are you? Aesop. Oh, you are the Aesop. Yeah, man. The, the storyteller? Yeah, yeah. The one you know pretty well. The one you're basing your whole uh, model off of, like, this whole event is kind of like an Aesop event, right? Without uh, my name on the sign or whatever. But yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that I'm basing anything off of you. I would say that you are... I would say you're innovative. And Thanks. that's that's good. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you the innovation. But I do think that you are only trying to talk to children. And so that is a bit of a misnomer. Oh, no. mm -hmm. I'm just trying to talk to children. Yes, think well, I'm making fairy tales and shit. Well, you could talk to anyone you wanted. You could talk to a cow. You could talk to a man. You could talk to a baby. You could talk to a dog. Sometimes dogs. Dogs can be intelligent as well as. Well, that's what, what I've learned. What? 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 Are you trying to? Are you trying to spin some sort of like? Is this? I have spin yarns. Into it now, I actually? spin yarns. I like to weave a, 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 a life tale. People here are bored, bro. We don't know what you're talking about. The warthog, tell, like, yo, what does the warthog represent? What does the lizard re re represent? Uh, okay, well, I feel like you're kind of coming for me right now. And what, what I'm trying to say is uh, animals, much like humans, uh, go about their days in specific ways. And if we pay attention, uh -huh. we can learn about ours. All right, I'm sorry. Selves. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to do that. I'm sorry, everyone, if you you're enjoying sorry. this. You look sorry. You do look sorry. I'm very yeah. sorry, but I just got to interrupt for a second. The whole point, right, of what I do and what you now magically suddenly do. It's not magic. It's science in my brain. Okay, sure. Science in your brain. Uh -huh. For sure. What we do here in the game, in the fable game, right, is we want a moral, right? Okay. Right? We want yeah. some meaning behind it. We I could agree. We morals. don't need stories about animals. We can look out our backyards, right? Right? Like we can look out our backyards and see there. Uh, uh, there is a goat, and he's you know fucking that donkey. The end. That's what I said. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with a goat fucking a donkey? That's nature. Because it's got nothing to do with us. You know what I mean? Like they're alive. Hold up. Are you second. alive? Can I talk? Can I talk to you? Can I talk? Aesop. What's up? <laughs> Aesop. What's up? Are you alive? That's my first question. I have one question to start, Mike. Yes. And number two, have you seen an animal outside in your yard? You said you go into a yard. Yeah, yeah. We look at an animal, animal in the yard. Where are you going with this, man? Where are you going with this? If you can agree that an animal does exist and it's alive and you can see it in your yard, why would you not want to learn from it such as life? I do. Hold up. I do. Okay. Can I talk now? Please talk. Right. Yeah. I, I love, do. I would love if you would talk in a normal way that I can understand. You finished? Yes. Listen, bro. I do want to learn from the animals. Yo, I don't know if you realize, but I wrote a whole book about stories about animals and shit. Okay. I'm just saying it's gotta have a moral to it. Mm -hmm. All right, let me demonstrate. Well, I have everyone's attention, okay. Everybody knows me as the guy who does this fox and the grapes. Yes, the grapes, go ahead. You guys know, you know that one? Yes, love, we all love grapes. Oh, so you have read my shit. Right. I've heard about it and sometimes the children will talk loudly when I'm eating porridge in a field and oh, I the will. Children. Again with the children. You right. are gonna, you, you talk to the, Children, I don't. It's skewed. I to listen a wider to the children audience. because I'm alive. The demographic is wider than just children. I, that's you know, you, it's a straw man argument. I don't expect anything more from you. Then why do you call it a children's tale? Like because like you know, sp people watch SpongeBob. Like adults watch Sp SpongeBob, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's true. It's a children's show, technically, but adults fuck with SpongeBob. And the shadow, the shadow puppet SpongeBob. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the shadow puppet SpongeBob. The and shadow puppet SpongeBob. He is good. I actually do like him and his shadow puppet friend. Patrick. And there you go, animals. But they're not really. That's what I'm saying. But then they're like, it's actually like a guy who fucks with his job, and is like really optimistic. And then his friend, and then a guy who's kind of more jaded with life. It kind of tells you a bit about your life. Right? So that's they're animals, what you're right? doing. No, yeah, for, pretty much. Okay. All right, listen, The Fox and the Grapes. It's my most popular one. And by the way, I'm published. Published author, you. very cool. Yes, okay. Just so everybody here Not knows. Not everyone knows he, how okay, to read. Just so everyone knows before he gets all pops off with this, this is my thing. All it's right? not I'm my Aesop. fault I'm that Aesop, I can't bro. afford cuneiform. The fables okay. of Aesop. Let's go. <sighs> read, the Fox and read, the read. Go read, read. I'd love to hear it. I would love to hear it. The fox and the grapes. A hungry fox saw some clusters of ripe grapes hanging from a trestled vine. All right. Trellis vine. My bad. Trellis? I'm dyslexic. What the fuck does that even mean, a trellis? A trellis vine. <laughs> okay. Jesus. I've been listening to you all afternoon. I'm sorry. Heat. I'm being, in the heat, I by am the way. Being it is hot. I'm sweaty, Can too. Can we put up some awnings or something? Uh, I don't think those are real. She resorted to all her tricks to get at them, but she could not reach them and, and tired herself out. At last, she turned away, muttering to herself, well, who cares? I'm sure the grapes are sour anyway. That's it, dude. That's it. So what's your moral? If you are so big on morals, what the fuck does anyone eating a grape have to do with anything? It's like, I, look. How is that different from what I'm saying? I, I do three stories per page, so it's not like I really, like, I can recall. Because I write you just so tell many bangers. Aesop? Yeah. Can you just tell me what the fuck that means? <laughs> Bro, I don't even know. I don't even know, but there's meaning behind, right? Everybody fucks with that one. That's like the most well-known one. Don't He's agree with him. Hold up, hold up. Don't agree with him. Ghost Rider. No, I didn't. Oh, oh okay. A ghost Rider. A ghost Rider. He doesn't even know what he wrote. Where is he? You, you a necromancer? You are a necromancer. All right, let me give a you a black one. magic witch, huh? Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You hold have up. to consult the wizard arts. <laughs> fail. Epic, epic fail. Oh, for real? Oh, really? <laughs> okay. How about this one? Here's one off the dome. You want to hear one off the dome? I don't need any writers for this one. What does a dome have to do with anything? All right. I'm not going to fight a gladiator. All right. So the wolf had a very cunning plan. Okay. Okay. He was gonna catch. He was gonna catch, uh, he was gonna find ch uh, chickens in the field. You know what I'm saying? I love chickens. And he was gonna store them for later. And so he puts them in a little trough, right? But then as soon as the pig catches on to that wolf, uh, finding a new way to like gather his food or whatever the fuck. Yeah, for sure. The pig's like, ooh, trough, that sounds like a good idea. And then the pig, uh, the pig starts eating the shit out of the trough just like the fucking wolf did. And he's, you know, jacks his shit. Can you get, derive the storyline right there? What does that mean? Who's the who's the wolf? Who's the pig? Who so did like your the ghost of your mother tell you that or something? What, bro? So like, did uh, your don't bring her into did this your dog? mommy tell you that from beyond the grave? What? So my mom's dead, and that's oh ha ha ha. My mom's dead. And your father probably. You're pretty fucking old. I never knew his ass. So thank you. <laughs> and he was never able to teach me like life lessons and shit. You have a tragic backstory. That's why, yeah. But now you know nothing about that. Oh, I'm sorry, Asa. My life is perfect and I'm happy, so I don't really have that issue myself. But I, I am um, a logical man, so I can understand we're supposed to feel bad for other people. You're too and logical, bro. You're too logical. Your shit's literal. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be lovely right now. This is the guy who got us all to stone the lepers in the in the town square you know what i'm saying you like that i don't know that. why we, we, did nobody bring stones they gave today? me so much gold for that all right dude whatever you want one of these i can sign it for you uh no anyone else don't you? buy his shit Three. no don't buy it